Together, we're delivering as much equipment in the next few months as in the whole of 2022. And together, we must help Ukraine to shield its cities from Russian bombs and Iranian drones. And that's why the United Kingdom will be the first country to provide Ukraine with longer-range weapons. And it's why we're working with our allies to give Ukraine the most advanced air defense systems and build the Air Force. The UK Prime Minister and US Vice President calling the war in Ukraine a global war. The United Kingdom will be the first country to send Ukraine longer range missiles. Why is no one trying to de-escalate the war? It's clear they're trying to make this a bigger conflict than it needs to be. And Ukraine is just the proxy for the USA to get involved in more business that it doesn't need to be involved in. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's Saturday. Hope you guys are having some good time with your family and some good personal time, some rest and relaxation to recharge for the week. Thank you for joining me. As always, I give away $10 in XRP every day on the channel. Winner in the video description. To enter today's giveaway, just like the video, subscribe, notifications on, and comment anything in the YouTube comments below. A lot of great content in this video. I want to talk about XRP being backed by gold and a few ISO 222 documents. But first, guys, I have a Twitter community. We have 32 people in here. That's awesome. It's basically a spot on Twitter where you can post in this community and it's not public on Twitter. It's just in the community. And I have a lot of smart subscribers and I want you guys to post content in here. I featured this in yesterday's video. It's a Federal Reserve official document talking about Ripple and the advantages it provides. So if you guys have good content about crypto or you want to be featured in my videos, join the Twitter community and post in here. Links in the video description below and check out this clip about xrp and swift i think um we're also seeing that swift are changing their, their network capability so that real time will be a possibility as that uh, as well but we may also see ripple xrp moving across the swift network as a currency when we perhaps use boom we might see ripple moving across in foreign exchange currency fun fact guys you know the logo for xrp it's an X, right? The logo for XRP. You know what enables smart contracts on the XRP ledger? It was a big airdrop the past month. Flare. What's the logo for Flare? An F. And what is foreign exchange markets? FX. Ripple, the logo with Ripple and the logo with Flare together is FX. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. But that's the, that is what this whole payment rail, this whole infrastructure that Ripple has created is designed to do, right? It's, it's beautiful. F for Flare, X for XRP in conquering the entire foreign exchange markets. Um, this is Graham Bright speaking, that old guy. He's the head of compliance at EuroXM Bank. Head of compliance. Compliance is a very important role when we're talking XRP. That's an unregulated cryptocurrency asset. Look what he has to say about XRP. Participation with Ripple is what makes us different. Our solutions are based on our membership of Ripple's ecosystem. Using the on-demand liquidity capabilities of RippleNet, our clients are able to switch into and out of their own currencies using Ripple's XRP cryptocurrency as the underlying digital asset. The supply demand for liquidity is effectively unlimited. And what kind of crisis do we have right now in the global economic system? A liquidity crisis. The switches into and out of XRP take place almost immediately, with the result that many of the risks associated with traditional foreign exchange currencies are absent, right? XRP enables, or not enables, deletes a lot of risks from these cross-border payments. Our counterparties are the trading companies who are our clients. We reach them through the currency corridors within Ripple's ecosystem. In contrast to traditional providers of payment mechanisms across currency, there is no longer a reliance on traditional correspondent banking relationships. And even major banks are using Ripple's ecosystems. And this is just from EuroXM Bank, a smaller bank. But we have banks like Wells Fargo and Bank of America that we know are lined up ready to use XRP once there's regulatory clarity. XRP, here's a tweet from Crypto Barbie. 
Um, and really quick, guys, if you guys want some free money, not much is free, let alone money, you can get $40 guaranteed for free if you sign up with Webull and deposit a penny. You could get up to 3000 in free stocks, but typically you'll just get 40 to $300, but it's a great offer just for signing up, depositing a penny. You're guaranteed $41 in minimum free stock value. Sell your stocks, close your account, do whatever you want, but don't miss out on this great offer. It does end soon. Link to Webull is in the video description below. She says XRP needs to be backed by gold so it can be stable. That's why banks are accumulating gold like never before. Now, I think this might be one of those tweets that's a little bit of a reach. I don't think banks are accumulating gold because they know XRP is going to be backed by it. But she does make a good point for a, a cross currents, for a bridge currency, for all foreign exchange. It does need to be stable. Can't have a volatile price. So backing it by an asset like gold might be smart. Now, why are central banks stockpiling gold? Because the money printers are going crazy. So they want safe assets. And traditionally, precious metals are a safe store of value. They're not going to produce crazy gains, right? But you're not going to lose massive money holding precious metals. A good clip here from uh, Crypto Lulu talking about this gold backing XRP. Again, it needs to be agnostic. Yes, it's an agnostic bridge currency and it needs to be backed by gold so it can be stable. Now, what was what was XRP designed to be? It was designed to be stable. It's designed to be backed. And from this information, it seems like we might just be getting that. Now, the BIS is requiring certain things of a certain asset in order for it to fulfill the regulations and the standards that they have put in place. So the Bank of International Settlements, they have these standards for what they want this bridge currency to be. And XRP checks the mark on a lot of these. And people are now speculating that if you backed XRP with gold, it could be the go-to chosen bridge currency. And Stuart Alderati, head Ripple General Counsel, says, Reminder that agency authority rests on laws and regulations, not on Gary Gensler's personal beliefs or political motivations. We don't care who was funding Gary Gensler. We don't care if Sam Bankman Freed was meeting with Gary Gensler. Your personal beliefs are not involved in this decision. Regulatory threats, undue pressure, coercion, and intimidation have no place. This was in 2019. If you look at the Ripple lawsuit, it seems like a lot of undue pressure, coercion, and intimidation. And speaking of Sam Bankman-Fried, the FTX 10 billion scammer, look at who bailed him out of jail. The name of Sam Bankman-Fried's bail guarantors have been released. The former dean of Stanford Law School and a computer scientist signed for almost a million dollars to get this scammer from FTX and Alameda out of jail. The head of Stanford Law School, guys. This goes to show if you have enough money and you pay the right people, sometimes you don't always have to face consequences. A joint report by the CPMI, the BIS Innovation Hub, the International Monetary Fund, and the World Bank. We already know this, but they're considering the possibility of multilateral platforms for cross-border payments. They do not have the answer. They will go to the private sector. And who has been building a perfect solution for the past 10 years? Ripple. And that's why we are betting on Ripple. If you guys are still watching the video, thank you for making it to the end. If you want to support me, comment BIS in the comment section below. Every BIS comment I read is going to make my weekend a little bit better. I sincerely mean that. When you guys watch the full video, you just gave me 10 minutes of your day. If 100 people do that, that's a lot of minutes. So God bless you guys. Comment BIS below. Have a great weekend. Make some time for yourself. Until next time.